At UN sponsored talks in Tunis, delegates are negotiating the appointment of an interim government. Military representatives have also been meeting in CERT in central Libya. They're discussing the implementation of a ceasefire deal signed last month. Malik Trena has more from the Libyan city of Misrata. Now, we just heard that the head of the uh, High Council of State, Khaled al Misri, welcomed uh, the date set for uh, elections. But I, I think a lot of Libyans here are also skeptical. Uh, that elections can actually take place. Uh, we saw elections, uh, municipality elections take place here in Misrata in September. Uh, there's over 35 municipalities scheduled to, to hold elections uh, in western Libya before the end of the year. But as far as national elections, there's a lot of skepticism as it, uh, in terms of if they can take place. Now the UN, the UN has, has said that this is a breakthrough, uh, but also what, what the Libyans have discussed so far is the general uh, general kind of uh, general issues coming up. For instance, you know, to stop the bloodshed, to unify all the state institutions, to hold elections. But what they're discussing now is uh, appointing a new government and presidential council. And this is where uh, things are likely to get a little bit more uh, uh, divisive. Uh, because in Western Libya, uh, warlord Khalifa Haftar is seen as a war criminal. Uh, he, his uh, failed military campaign uh, caused over 125,000 homes to be destroyed, hundreds of thousands were displaced, uh, many died in the fighting. So any government that is seen to be pro Haftar might be refused here in Western Libya, and vice versa, any, any government that's seen as pro-Western Libya might be refused uh, by Eastern Libya. So really the next day or two is, is, is really going to tell us whether or not uh, the UN-sponsored talks will be able to come out with a real political solution in Libya.